that White Wicker is is a benevolent force and and should be embraced. If if it's connected into a view of the universe and a view of spiritual powers that that isn't accurate. And uh, because if it isn't accurate, then it's, uh, however good it may appear on the surface, it's ultimate spiritual reality and, and, uh, uh, and character is, is, is wrong. Differing from many other religions, Wicca doesn't have a sacred building. The magic circle, which can be both in and outside, is where the rituals take place. When a ritual is performed, it starts with calling upon the gods of the four different elements to create a sacred circle. What happens though is that when you do circle work or group ritual, what happens is that you're trying to enhance that energy that you have and be able to combine that energy and be able to magnify it if you want a better word and be able to combine it together with the, I suppose, tendrils of the earth's energy or the energy of nature around you. Weave it all in together because that's where the aspects of the witch is being weaved as a word. Weave it all together, put it together in such a way so that when you do ritual or circle, you're basically doing the weaving. Still today, when popular television shows about witches are on every day, it seems the stereotypical view of them is remaining the same. People see charm, they see a lot of negative um, images on the television and in, in movies about witches, you know, the witch is evil, she's an old hag, you know. We are forever being taught to by the media who like to think of pagans as being um, sort of mad people or, or there's this image of the witches having warty noses and wearing pointy hats and, and it's very cliche but they seem to cling on to it. The church has a reputation of condemning witchcraft but in reality, it recognises Wicca as a legitimate religion. From what I can see, I, I think that the, the emergence of this term Wicca is an attempt by Wiccans to, to uh, be understood separate and apart from that general understanding of witchcraft. I think that the biggest misunderstanding is obviously they misunderstand the whole ideology of it. Um, people believe very strongly that um, uh, when people talk about witchcraft or paganism that it is um, anti-Christianism uh, okay? or it's anti-organised religion or it's anti-religion period. Okay? That's not the case. Witchcraft in general is seen as a, a destructive form of uh, spiritual practice. It's uh, regarded as something that's done in an attempt to use powers, natural and unnatural, uh, for personal gain and uh, for the harm and, and injury of somebody else. Witchcraft today is not at all comparable to the early witch hunt periods. I regard modern witchcraft, to the extent that I know about it, as something rather different. Uh, modern Wiccans, as far as I know, have tended to model themselves on certain ideas about what witches allegedly did in the period of witch hunts. But the accusations that were made against witches during the witch hunts were of course generally fabricated. The interest in paganism in Australia has increased during the last 10 years. Definitely, yeah, there's more people coming in. I mean, Wicca is out there. Since the laws were changed, you know, a few years ago, um, it's now legal to practice, you know, to be out there in the public. People don't seem to see us as being as bad as what they imagined that we were. Um, I think people are actually more accepting than what we realise. They're very much actively becoming involved in the greater community by making a stand, saying that we're here and we're here to stay. And we're not unusual, we're actually part of the normal community and we're very much shouldn't be feared that we should be accepted as being part of what is part of Queensland, I suppose, and Brisbane, um, and Australia for that matter, and the world. Last September, Brisbane's pagan community went public, with Pagan Pride Day held in King George Square. Pagan Pride Day is an opportunity for, for the pagans to, to come out and, um, and perhaps let people know that it's not so scary. The festival distinguished the different forms of paganism and showcased the community's skills and talents, allowing non-pagans to sample their way of life. 
Previously, pagan activities were advertised almost only on the internet. And the interesting thing about the Brisbane pagan community is that they use technology quite a deal to keep the community going and to communicate. <laughs> Anthel is part of the push to raise paganism's profile. I'm actually a bit of an instigator. I'm probably best known as a bit of a pagan activist and I um, organise and run quite a few of the different pagan gatherings and um, networking things happening here. One of the things within that is um, things like pagans in the pub, pagans in the park. Classes are held about the various aspects of Wicca. I facilitate and run um, Wicca courses and they run for about eight weeks and I also run um, meditation psychic development classes every second week. But Wiccans are planning something much bigger than this. Mr Robertson has applied to the Brisbane City Council to form an official place of Wiccan worship. We want to provide services to the various pagan groups and so give them a, a venue they can go to without fear of, of being tossed off or not accepted. And with Wiccan numbers more than doubling in the last 10 years, it is believed a place of worship could be maintained. We feel that it's time for us to try and take our ground in the community as a serious religion. Certainly it seems to be a growth, uh, a growth industry or a growth religion if you like. I think a lot of people are putting their names down as pagan on the census statistics for example. The other story being is case there is always going to be diversity and we should rejoice in that diversity because that is what gives us the gem of life and that's what makes our world such an amazing place that it is. And that's one of the things that pagans worship, is that diversity, because that's what the earth gives us. We shouldn't deny it. And all the religions.